James Douglas, the 21st of March 1675 to the 2nd of April 1742, was a Scottish physician and anatomist and physician extraordinary to Queen Caroline. Topic: Life and works. One of the seven sons of William Douglas died 1705 and his wife, Joan, daughter of James Mason of Park, Blantyre, he was born in West Calder, West Lothian, in 1675. His brother was the well-known lithotomist John Douglas died 1759. In 1694 he graduated M.A. from the University of Edinburgh and then took his medical doctorate at Reims before going to London in 1700. He worked as an obstetrician, and gaining a great reputation as a physician, was elected Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1706, F.C.P. in 1721. One of the most respected anatomists in the country, Douglas was also a well-known man midwife. He was asked to investigate the case of Mary Toft, an English woman from Godalming, Surrey, who in 1726 became the subject of considerable controversy when she tricked doctors into believing that she had given birth to rabbits. Despite his early skepticism, Douglas thought that a woman giving birth to rabbits was as likely as a rabbit giving birth to a human child. Douglas went to see Toft, and subsequently exposed her as a fraud. Douglas practiced midwifery and performed public dissections at home. Douglas mentored and befriended anatomist and surgeon William Hunter (1718–1783), whom he met in 1740 when Hunter came to London. Hunter would live in the Douglas household and remained there after Douglas died in London on the 2nd of April 1742, leaving a widow and two children. Douglas produced a series of manuscript English, French, Latin and Greek grammars, and an ample index to the works of Horace. A treatise on English pronunciation by James Douglas 1914 was edited by Anna Paz. Another edition was due to Borea Homburg Lund, 1956. He undertook botanical studies, notably his monograph on the Guernsey lily. Topic: <inaudible> Terminology. As a result of Douglas's investigations of female pelvic anatomy, several anatomical terms bear his name. Douglas pouch Peritoneal space formed by deflection of the peritoneum, Douglasitis Inflammation of Douglas pouch, Douglas abscess Suppuration in Douglas pouch, most often seen in appendicitis or adnexitis, Douglas fold A fold of peritoneum forming the lateral boundary of Douglas's pouch, Douglas line the arcuate line of the sheath of the rectus abdominis muscle, Douglas septum The septum formed by the union of Rathke's folds, forming the rectum of the fetus. <laughs> Footnotes External links Who named it? James Douglas Papers and drawings of James Douglas, Glasgow University Library Archives Douglas Papers <laughs>